You tell them, guys, having a strong stomach is important, not only for enlightenment, but to digest life itself. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashiva. In the, the, in the satsang that Swamji uh, did live a few days back, Swamji was talking about the importance of having a strong stomach, a strong Manipuraka uh, chakra energy. And one thing he was saying is to reduce solid food we consume. Why? Because the stomach has two dimensions, the muscle memory dimension and the bio memory dimension of the stomach. The muscle memory dimension is used, is, is used to digest physical food. And the bio-memory dimension of the stomach is used to digest life, how life is happening to us, to digest that. So when we are being overwhelmed or we are facing situations where we are not able, we are having a hard time to digest life, we should drop the food to increase the capacity to digest life. The more the muscle memory of the stomach is busy with food, the less the bio-memory of the stomach will be able to digest life. So the more you remove the load from the muscle memory of the stomach and remove, therefore means removing the solid food as much as possible, uh, if, if not completely, and allowing the bio memory of the stomach to run at full, full fledged speed and digest life in order to remain powerful and to manifest what you want. So in this video, I want to talk about abusers and this and uh, helping uh, you perhaps to have a, a better clarity about what is going on and why someone would do something like one of the ex-disciples did. So um, I'll give you an idea. See, the problem we have as until we get enlightened is that we are unable to digest life fully. We digest life to a certain extent. And what happens is, so the next disciple, um, they decided to leave Swamiji for whatever reason. They have their own reason or their own feeling of wanting to uh, leave Swamiji, which is fine. But the problem is that they are not able to digest their decision to, to leave Swamiji. They need to find a justification so that they can, uh, so, that, so that they can somehow... Uh, feel like they have digested it. But the deep reality is they have not digested their own decision. And I'm putting emphasis here. It is their own decision to um, disconnect from Swamiji. So what happens is when, some, when we fail, what I clicked was, uh, what I clicked with was when we make a decision or when we want to make a decision but we're struggling because we are not digesting life, so we don't have the clarity and the powerfulness to make the decision from the space of nonviolence, we will use excuses to justify our decision. And they, these excuses will give us, will make us feel that we have digested life. But truth is we have not because after that all the leftovers of violence are happening inside of us and come out as abusive. Uh, nature as an abusive nature. So there's no completion in the whole process. There's no unclutching in the whole process. So, you know, they decided to leave Swamiji. That is their decision. They're responsible for their decision. But they were not able to digest their own decision. So they had to create some kind of reason why they did what they did. Because, you know, uh, in, in some cases, you know, people are asking, why are you leaving Swamiji? And when people are demanding answers, you are reminded that you have not digested life. So you have to cook up reasons because you, if, you, if you cannot digest life, you will not take responsibility for your decision. You will have to, you will feel like you have to justify and protect yourself. That is because the space is not clear. Again, the life was not digested the decision and therefore the when we make a decision life responds to us according to that space to that decision that we make in our inner space when life is reflecting that decision and we have not digested that decision naturally we will not be able to digest the life that is coming and reflecting that decision afterwards so so these people have created big stories to create a big mess and to distract people. Why? Because they are not, they were not able to answer people about their decision. 
They were not able to. Why? Because they had not even digested their own decision of leaving Swamiji. So they have not this. They have not digested their own decision. They're creating stories. They're using their mind to create stories and get people hyped up. Get the whole circus going on. People get caught in the circus, so they stop asking questions. They stop questioning the reason why that person or these people have left Swamiji in the first place. And as they do this whole thing, as they cook, uh, as these people are caught in these this big mess, then that person, uh, which has still, by the way, which has still not digested its own decision, um, just keeping that in clear, they are using that and then uh, abusing. And the very fact that they're abusing is um, shows that the violence is within. It shows that life has not been digested. Therefore, their own decision has not been digested by themselves. So, and that is why, uh, you know, we say, Swamiji says, that's a pattern. It is not a conscious decision. When the decision is conscious, you can digest it. When you make a decision and you can't digest it, that means you have not made that decision consciously. You have a blind spot. There is a gray area that you have not attended to. You have decided not to attend to, and you're still deciding not to attend to. And therefore, this whole violence keeps going and destroying. And sometimes people will say, no, no, no. I'm telling the world they should not go with Swamiji. Like that, I'm enriching the world. That is not enriching the world. This is the, the very same principle that we have in the matrix, which is in order to be successful, you have to bring people down. That is a dualistic approach of life. It is not the Advaitic oneness approach of life. When you are established in the space of Advaita, you do not have um, conflicts inside of you. You can bring light, you can bring understanding, you can bring knowledge to people. And here again, in this video, I'm not bringing this person down like I'm explaining now. I am just taking the what happened and just bringing more light, more clarity, different clicks I got about the whole situation so that you can also benefit from the same clarity that I have if you do not have that clarity. And um, so it is not about that. Contributing to somebody's life has nothing to do with uh, removing other people's impact. If, if you want to contribute in somebody's life and somebody else is contributing to somebody's life, re <laughs> make attacking this person so they stop contributing in you, that is not your contribution. Your contribution has to be to the being. You have to add to the being, not bring something, not, not destroy something outside for the sake of showing that you are the right. Understand? So that's the clarity I got. And that's a big problem because by default, because we are operating from a dualistic space, we will automatically feel that in order to succeed, you need to bring people down or you need to, you know, you need to be more than other people. No, that is not how Kailasha works. Sri Kailasha works. It's all about enriching. Enriching has nothing to do with comparing yourself to other people. So the very decision to go and attack other people is not made. So that's the light I wanted to share. Then again, I'm saying I'm not bringing that person down. I'm just bringing light and clicks towards, uh, towards the behavior and to help uh, you to, uh, to have perhaps more clarity. Uh, again, if you do not have clarity about this whole thing. So that's what I want to share in this video. Uh, leave your comments below, non-abusive. Obviously, if you have a doubt, you can put it, but put it in a way which is not abusive and it will remain, otherwise it will be removed. And uh, subscribe, click the bell icon. I upload many videos a day if you want to keep be updated about the happenings of Swamiji reviving Sri Kailasa, the greatest in donation. Check the first link in the description below. You can become an online spiritual citizen of Sri Kailasa and get updated about everything that we do. Uh, like and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. And let's stand for Swamiji and let's, let's show how Sanatana Hindu Dharma is being attacked in a big way and that the ways in which Sanatana Hindu Dharma is being attacked is being exposed 
by the happening of Swamiji, exposed to the daylight for all to see, so that we all become active and support Swamiji and the revival of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. So then again, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nityananda. Thank you.